All right, so earlier I was showing you how we laid out and put the marks for our hole that we're going to make into this board that's going to hold our routers. Um, so I talked to that, told you that I was going to use a hole saw. So I'm over here at the drill press now. We're getting this put in. So I got my chuck key. I'm going to tighten the chuck jaws down tight onto the shank of that hole saw. Always remember to remove your chuck key. Now, we had looked at that chart earlier and we had seen that it was 350 RPM was the recommended RPM for this hole saw. We look up here and I only have two RPM ranges, 300 RPM and 390 RPM. So um, remember on the soft woods, it gave us a recommendation of 500 RPM. On the uh, hard woods, it gave us a recommendation of 350. So I think I'll probably be okay to go and, and select the 390. So I'll undo the locking knob, pull this in. Let's just reconfigure these pulleys and the pulley belts. And I've got for 390, uh, I want a, my idler pulley to be on the bottom connected to the uh, quill. And then uh, the second belt goes over here to my motor. So we'll get that set. Tighten the, put the tension back on those pulley belts. Lock this in and now I'm ready to go. Tighten that back up, close my cover. Turn my light on here so I can see and I'm ready to actually start cutting. We'll go right in here. I want to hold my board nice and tight. Now with this hole saw, as I cut this hole, I'm only going to go about halfway down because I don't want to break through. Otherwise, if I break through, so I'll go about halfway to three quarter down so that I can catch and have that plug coming. We'll come back through. I kind of let it loose and that drill bit will follow the hole. So I put that back in before I get here. Hold that board real tight. Come back in. We'll cut it all the way. Now that hole, we're getting close. That hole should pop out. There we go. And voila, we've got our hole in the board. Now the next thing all I need to do is go over the bandsaw and cut that out so I have it. That's how we do it using the drill press and a hole saw. Thanks for watching.